All right, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome to Conceptual Fix 6. Uh, we're talking about vectors and relativity now. Just letting you guys know, especially the first half of this chapter, this unit is very much math based. Personally, not my absolute favorite to teach. Uh, later on, actually, when we talk more about rel relative velocity, I really enjoy teaching that topic. But for right now, it, a lot of it is a math review. So anyway, let's get into that part right now. All right, so what is a vector? A, ve a vector is a mathematical quantity with both a magnitude and a direction. Okay. Okay, so a few things to know when you see a vector, you're going to usually kind of see like an arrow. Uh, maybe it could be an arrow pointed to the right, pointed up, pointed down, pointed somewhere at an angle, something like that. Depending on how long it is, this shows the magnitude. For example, if this was 10, then 5 should be around half. Okay? So that shows the magnitude how long it is. The next is the direction should be entailed by which way it's oriented. So if it's pointed directly down, and maybe I should go like this, then we know it's going to it's going down or it's going south or something like that. Okay. So what vectors have we already talked about? So we've talked about, let's see, acceleration. We've talked about velocity. And I think that might be it. Okay. Uh, let's move. Oh, displacement as well. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, a vector drawn as an arrow with the tip showing the direction. The length of the the length of the lines determine the magnitude. Okay. So, like I said, b is greater than a only because b is longer. The vector that is drawn is longer than a. Okay. So a lot of time when we're talking about direction, there's many, many ways to um, describe the direction. We could have east, west, north, south, and all that kind of stuff. But to make things a little bit more simple, we're just going to be using this, um, this annotation here of these angles. Uh, so if something is, for example, directed directly to the right, or many times it's going to be noted as east, we can just call this at zero degrees. If something is directed directly up, we can call it north, or we can call it 90 degrees. If something is directed kind of like, let's say in between zero and 90, it's gonna be like something like this. We can call that at uh, 45 degrees. And if something is directed, um, let's say like over here, oops, that's gonna be 205 degrees okay so remember it always kind of starts directly east or directly to the right and let's say we have one all the way over here sorry that would be 310 degrees okay so there's many ways of showing direction but I think to make things the simplest, we're just going to use this one way um, because it can it can be very confusing to students if you use so many different ways of showing direction. However, if something is like, let's say, directly to the left, you can just say west or directly south. You can just say south. But if it has this angle, I'm, I would use just this method of 0 to 360. Okay, I know I spend a lot of time on this, but it is one of the things that students get confused about a lot. All right, let's keep moving. All right, so let's look at this first example. So what we're going to be doing is draw the fine vectors with a ruler and a protractor. I want to show how to do that. I'm not going to really show how to do the ruler and the protractor on this slide, but I'm going to be showing it on the next video. This is more just like an introduction. However, five meters at 30 degrees should look something like this. So I'm going to put like a little cross here. And what I would do is I'd use a protractor to figure out, okay, this part here is 30 degrees. And then I would draw, I know it says like five meters. I'm not going to be drawing five meters. Maybe I'm going to say one meter is equal to one centimeter. I'm going to make this what we call like a legend. Okay. So I'm going to draw this out with the ruler 
five centimeter after I use my protractor. And I'll be showing more how to do this in the next video. Okay, um, eight meters at 170 degrees. It's probably like good to think about just like what coordinate that's gonna be. But first I would draw like this little cross section here. And then I'd go eight meters at 170 degrees. Uh, degrees. And I should know that 170 is close to all the way to the other side, which is 180 degrees. So it should look something like this. Um, anyway, I'm going to kind of, um, we're going to look at what I did over here. But it should look like that. Very good. Okay. And we know it's 170 because it's going to be like this. Boom. Okay. 20 meters at south, it should just be pointed down. Okay. And I'll put the cross. I think it's always good to kind of draw this cross reference. Of course, students a lot of times skip the part, and but it is really going to help you later on. Four meters at 165 degrees, 165 degrees being like this. And let me go back to C real quick. So we have it at south, but also if it's said at 270 degrees, that would look exactly the same, okay? Okay, now we have E, seven meters at 230 degrees. So it's like this, 230 is gonna be like this 180 plus another 50 degrees. So this would be like 50 degrees, but this whole thing here is 230 degrees, okay? Just understanding kind of what's happening with the angles. All right, five meters at 240 degrees, so pretty similar, but let's do this cross thing. So this would be like 180 and then another 60 over here. So you could call this part just like 60 uh, or how we're doing the direction is this whole thing here is going to be 240 degrees. Okay, and I'm going to show a lot more how to do this with the protract and a ruler with the next video. But now, right now, I just want to kind of introduce how it all looks, especially with the angles. Okay, let's move on. Express the right direction for each vector. Okay, so part A it seems pretty simple. Remember, it's always starting from zero degrees here, and then we're going counterclockwise this way. So in this case, we're going 50 degrees up this way. So that's just going to be 50 degrees. Okay, so uh, part B. So part B, we know this angle here. Uh, let me just draw this like this. Is 20 degrees. However, when we want to express the right direction, remember we're starting from this zero degree point over here. And to do the right direction is actually right um, from here. Because if we just say 20 degrees, what we, we would assume is 20 degrees is something like this. So we can't just say 20 degrees. However, we know this whole thing is 180. So if we do 180 minus 20, that means this over here is going to be 160 degrees. And now when we say 160 degrees, we know which way vector B is going. Okay, a little bit confusing, but after you do some, it should make sense. All right, let's look at C now. So C, um, for example, we know when we go from this zero degree point to all the way to the other side, that's going to be 90. This is going to be 180. And then we're going to do another 30. So this should be 210 degrees. 180 plus 30, and we get 210. I hope that's making sense. Okay, so let's, uh, let's look at this example here. Uh, Okay, let's look at part D. So with part D or uh, vector D, what we know is from this first part over here, this is zero degrees. As always, we go counterclockwise, we go up to 90 degrees. Then we go to all the other side, which is 180, then 270, and then some amount over here. And it's like, oh, how do we know what this sum amount is over here? So this is a little bit tricky. However, what we should know is we know this angle is 20 degrees. And we should know if we go all the way around, that's 360. So we can do 360 minus 20, and we get 340 degrees. Okay, so that should help us with that. Another way, if like, for example, we need to know what this theta was, was we know this is 270 degrees. And if it's 340, we can do 370 plus, what is it? 
<laughs> uh, 50, nope. 70? Yeah, 70, uh, 70 degrees here. Okay, well, and that should make sense because if this is 20 degrees, this has to be 70 degrees to make a 90 degree triangle. Okay. All right, again here, we're going from here all the way there. So 90 plus 70, this should be 160. And this one's a little bit confusing. We need to find this angle right here. A few ways we could do this. We can do, if we know this is from here to here is 90 degrees. So we could do 90 minus 75 and get 15 degrees. Um, any other way we could do that actually? Maybe that's the only way. Okay. All right, that's pretty much it. Next time we're gonna be talking about vector addition and doing that graphically. So look forward to seeing that with you guys. Thanks for watching.